Good morning. I'm Jamie Parrish with the Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce, and today we are zooming into business with Brush Tips Studios. So we are so excited to see everybody. Sherry Smith is uh, the owner and started the Brush Tip Studio here in Wadsworth, but then moved on down to Florida. Gosh, I wonder why you'd want to live in Florida as we sat outside last night in the snow. So, um, so welcome, Sherry, and welcome back to Wadsworth for a little bit here. Yeah. Thanks, Janie. I miss it so much. <laughs> well, we sure miss you. Yeah. And this is Abby Swigert, and you're running the Brush Tip Studio in Wadsworth. Yes, that is correct. So it's actually now, uh, Sherry, you started a franchise. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing this right <laughs> there you go okay so, <laughs> i like it next thing you know it's a uh, brush tips mcdonald's yeah yeah yes well, I'm on every corner <laughs> <laughs> okay so tell us about brush tips studios okay so we are an art studio that does tons and tons of different mediums. So we're trying to incorporate new art all the time. So down here we've in, incorporated some coastal art, but up there we're incorporating a lot of things like pore paintings, um, ceramics, wood paintings. Um, what other things, Abby? We got some great fun, like Abby's coming up with all kinds of things. <laughs> Nice. So we, we do have a lot of uh, kids incorporated classes where we have some small figurines for ceramics. We have some wooden crafts. Um, we, we just started, we're starting to introduce preschool age. I know we've typically stayed five and over, um, but we are doing some mommy and me, daddy and me type classes come January. Um, we started to introduce it in the holiday themed classes where we have kids making antlers for reindeers with their hands, some Christmas wreaths with their hands. So it's a little bit introducing into more of a formal painting, but also still playful. Okay, so you're inviting them into the studio and um, are, how are you keeping everybody safe? So right now we have everybody separated per family. We do a lot of private parties. That's very popular right now. Mostly the studio has been appointment only the past few months. Um, we did introduce some extended open paint hours here through uh, Main Street Events Holiday uh, where they had the carriage rides and the different events downtown for the winter for social distance festivities. Um, so we did have separate areas set up for walk-ins to come and do some ceramic crafts and canvas painting. Um, we did have a few people come in, so that's fantastic. You know, we're not right in the square, so it's a little bit of a walk when it's in these colder months. But we were very happy to see that some people stopped in and tried to find Buddy the Elf. And they were a lot of them were first-time visitors, too, so that was really great. Um, but Nice. Appointments, online classes have been really popular. We do have a special where it's $10 classes for a person online, and we sell them the supplies separately if they would like to purchase from us. We make up kits for them to pick up or for delivery. Nice. So I was going to ask you what's unique about your business, but I think you just told us that you're going all in these. Accommodating. These yeah, we're very accommodating, right? Yeah, no, I love it because you I, know what? Um, both of you girls that. have such a passion for this, you know, and so um, I really appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate a small business that just has embraced it. Yes, yeah, yeah. Tell me why you both love what you do. So I absolutely love what I do because I get to touch so many people's lives. I think one of my favorite things is um, I do a lot of charity work with Access the Arts up there in Wadsworth. And we've talked with Access the Arts in the detention center. And I know that the chamber has tried to help us out there too, which is mm -hmm. super great. Um, I get to touch all of those kids' lives. And without this studio, I would never even have gotten that opportunity 
to me, just having that outlet for them, giving them that outlet and teaching them different art and teaching them different ways to be creative gives me a great joy. So for that, and then also just being able to come into people's lives who've never painted on canvas before. So I had a lady who was the canvas before and she was so happy that she got to paint and to me that's why I do this it's because I get to open up that medium and give everybody this great outlet where even if they aren't perfect they're still perfect to me and they're still perfect to them and it doesn't matter if they've never created before we are creating artists so that's why I love what I do and then I also have Abby who is super amazing and helps me with that dream all the time very nice Abby tell us why you love what you do <laughs> well it has a lot to do with what Sherry has already spoke about. We're both very passionate with helping others be creative and spark that creativity within them that everybody just already kind of has. I know paint and having this blank canvas is very kind of uh, luring and it, it spools a little bit of anxiety in you because like, oh, I've never painted before and stuff. And you just see the, the, light in people's eyes change as they start painting and they're like oh this isn't so scary and then they're very happy with what they end up coming up with and it's all part of that process and seeing them work through their problems and helping them understand different techniques and just kind of instilling what art can really do for them and it it's nice to see how everybody just has this new light then after they leave the studio. They're just more accepting of what their flaws are and just expressing themselves in this new light. Perfect. So do you have any specials coming up for this holiday season as well as into January? Because we wanna make sure people know about you in January too. Yeah. Yes, because we are not closed. <laughs> I know some people are like, wait, are you guys closed? But we're not, we are not closed. Um, <clears throat> so we do have a lot of great, great specials coming up. Um, we did a great gift card special. So anyone can message Abby or Brush Tip Studios and get in on that gift card special. And then Abby came up with a great special also for January coming in. You wanna tell them about the birthday party special? Yeah, so we have been very popular with kids' birthday parties in past time, and even through the month of November and December, we've had a lot of birthday parties this year. And so for the month of January, we're running a special where the birthday kid paints for free. And so we do require a minimum of eight kids, um, but I mean, if the birthday girl or birthday boy can paint for free, why not? Right. Yeah, so just for example, if your birthday's in August, could you come in and book and pay for that in January? Yep, you sure can. And okay. August birthdays are the best birthdays. That's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us how to get in touch with Brush Tip Studios. Oh my gosh, so Abby does all of our amazing marketing and our webpage building too. Thank God for her. So she's come up with a bunch of different forums. She's, we have our Facebook page, which we've always had um, Instagram and also through just our webpage, which is brushtips.studio. And it's a beautiful webpage. Like Abby has really taught and been patient with me and helped me a lot on it. So kudos to her. Um, so there's three different ways. Then you can always call us, just give us a call. Um, you can always stop in the studio if you see the lights on, whatever. If you want to hire like a sky writer that goes across the sky and like, hey, brush ships, call me. We're up for that too. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What's the address of your um, uh, brush tips? Three, two, three, two. Yeah. No, three. <laughs> yeah. no, it's 232 High Street. Too high street. Like go, I have to go through all the addresses in my head. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. 232 High Street. So you're right behind the spirit store. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Very She's fine. So we, well, girls, like, thank you so. Oh, I'm sorry. I cut you right off there, Sherry. You're fine. I just said you can park all over there. Denise is super cool. Okay. 
Good deal. Well, thank you so very much. And thanks for all you're doing. We love small businesses. And we always say they're the backbone of America. So yeah. thank you so much. You bring a lot of joy to a lot of people. So Merry Christmas. And everybody, do a heart. Abby, oh, where's God. your heart? I'm holding my phone. So oh. have heart. Mary, you can create my other half. Okay. Here, I'll create your other half. There okay. we go. There we go. So Merry Christmas, and thank you for taking your time yeah, to talk Merry with me today. Thank you. Okay. Good morning. I'm Janie Parrish, and with the Wadra Chamber of Commerce, and here it is, Zoom into Business, and today we have a very special guest, Mike Kovac, who is our Medina County Auditor. So good morning, Mike. Morning, Janie. How we doing? I'm good. How about you? Yeah. Outstanding. 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 I love to hear your voice on Wadsworth Community Radio and hear all the Wadsworth trivia you give to us and as well as the music that you play. It's right in there with me. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. So tell us about uh, what the Medina County Auditor does. Well, the Medina County's Auditor's Office, uh, the Medina County Auditor does nothing, but the office, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the office, the office fulfills two main functions uh, for county okay. government, actually, and the county as a whole. Uh, first of all, we handle every aspect of accounting for the uh, county, and that means every bill that's paid, every salary that's paid, and every dollar of tax revenue grants and, and other types of revenues that flow, uh, that all flows through our office. Uh, as the chief fiscal officer for the county, uh, we oversee about a half billion dollars uh, flowing through this office mm -hmm. each year, which is a, uh, a pretty significant number. Um, number two, also our office is responsible for appraising and assessing every piece of real estate in Medina County. Uh, that's over 84,000 parcels. So um, that's a huge effort in and of itself. Uh, we're also responsible for taking the tax rates, which everyone loves, uh, mm -hmm. for our 53 taxing districts in the county and calculating and then creating the tax bills uh, for every one of those parcels. Um, besides those two main functions of the office, we also administer a number of programs of interest to people in Wadsworth and the county. Uh, we oversee the Weights and Measures Department, uh, which is responsible for ensuring that when you make purchases in the marketplace, uh, you're getting what you pay for. Uh, you'll see our stickers on gas pumps and retail checkout counters, uh, as well as a num number of other places throughout the county. And I would just mention, next time you look at those stickers, uh, every one of those stickers is designed by a Medina County a uh, student, high school student, including uh, several from uh, Wadsworth, and each of their names appears on those stickers. So take a look next time you see them. Uh, we also administer the Homestead Exemption Program. This program is set up to give a property tax break uh, to seniors 65 years of age and older who meet certain income requirements, as well as disabled veterans. Uh, we're also responsible for dog licensing in Medina County. I'm not sure how that ended up with us, but uh, uh, throughout the state, county auditors take care of that. Dogs are required to be licensed by the state of Ohio, and we're currently in dog licensing season. So annual licenses cost uh, $14, and not only are they your pet's ticket home uh, should they get lost, but they are required by law, and dog owners face a $100 penalty should their dog be found without a license. So uh, get that taken care of before January 31st. Your dog and you will be in, in good shape. And the final program that I'll mention, we, we do several others, but is the Medina County Board of Revision. Uh, this is the board that hear, hears appeals uh, to property valuations in Medina County and the state of Ohio. Uh, and beginning January 1st, if you believe that we have appraised your property too high, uh, you can file an appeal and your concerns will be addressed uh, by a board of three individuals who will review your claims and value your property in line with market value. And those, Janie, are the main functions of your Medina County Auditor's Office. <laughs> and we do have our own uh, dog catcher here in Wadsworth that works closely with the dog license. Our little Drew yes, Dixler. indeed. Yeah, Drew. Drew. And yeah. Mike Colbert, I believe, is still his assistant, my classmate down there. So there uh, we have a lot of fun with those two. Yes. Yeah. Now, I'm. you've been um, around as the auditor, and I'm a Diney County boy for a very long time. So I say that like you're you're so old but um <laughs> I <am. laughs> tell me about it but what i um wanted to ask because i'm sure that you have been um meeting with other county auditors and what's unique about the medina county um auditor's office 
Um, well, um, the, the unique thing about the office is that um, really it's the one governmental office, not only in Medina County, but, but every county in Ohio, where should this office shut down and we weren't able to function, almost all government functions in the county would shut down. Um, I mean, think about it, not only would the county not be able to pay any bills or salaries or take in any revenue, uh, but many of the other governmental units. So we've got 17 townships, six villages, uh, three cities, eight school districts, and several independent uh, uh, groups out there that get much of their tax money and other governmental revenues uh, through the county auditor's office. So uh, it's been said many times down at the state house that the county auditor's office is the most important function of any county government. And so, um, you know, that, that one always stands out in my mind um, that, that if something should happen to the, the county auditor's office where we couldn't function, sure. um, yes. it, it would shut down so a lot of functions across the county. I'm sorry, I just cut you right off there because I was excited okay. to hear the answer to this. Okay, so how <laughs> long have you been doing this as the Medina County Auditor? I came into office on January 13th, 1993. I still remember that date. So it'll be 20, sure. 28, 29 years beginning uh, next year. So uh, wow. yeah, longest serving auditor in Medina County history. So Wow. <laughs> So um, it, it, tell us, what do you love about being the Medina County Auditor? Um, you know what, I, I've got to say, Janie, and there's always pluses and minuses. Is, um, I love all of it, but probably the very best part of the job is the people. Um, having grown up here, I already have a great connection to uh, Wadsworth in the county. Uh, but getting, uh, being able to interact with the people throughout the county and, and all functions of the county, it's just a tremendous reward. Uh, we're very, very fortunate to have the people we do in Medina County, including you, Janie, a treasure. Uh, and, I and I think it. without question, uh, our people are probably our greatest strength. And uh, that would be the major thing that I love about working at the Medina County Auditor's Office is getting inter to interact with people every day. Even well, those folks who may not be too, who may not be too happy with me on occasion. <laughs> it happens, uh, strangely enough. <laughs> I appreciate your kind words. But if somebody should have a concern or a question, um, how do they get in touch with the Auditor's Office? Uh, there's a number of ways to get in touch with us. We try to be as available as possible. Uh, in this day and age, many people reach out to us on Facebook. And so we're out there oh. as Medina County Auditor uh, Mike Kovac. Uh, so you can reach us there. We, we look at that daily. Uh, you can also access us through our website at medinacountyauditor.org. It's not .com, medinacountyauditor.org. Uh, and I have to say, you can do almost any transaction on our website and, and all information is there. All the information about your taxes, your property values, any of the programs that I mentioned are out there can all be found there. Forms and instructions and they're available to everyone 24-7. Uh, people can also reach out to us via telephone at 330-725-9754. And finally, if they have questions, uh, they can email me directly at mkovac, that's K-O-V-A-C-K, mkovac at medinaco.org. Uh, we love to have people reach out to us uh, to help them solve uh, any problems that they may be having. Perfect. Well, we learned a lot about the Medina County Auditor's Office this morning. So thank you so much, Mike. And also, I want to say Merry Christmas. And also, thank you for your military service. We so appreciate uh -huh. it. So, well, thank you, Janie. Always wish you and yours the best for the new year. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Janie Parrish with the Wazir Chamber of Commerce, and we're lucky enough to zoom into business today with Kristen and Matt Lefevre. And they are the owners, the wonderful owners of Manic on Main, right in downtown Wadsworth. So good morning, Kristen and Matt. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I like seeing you in the morning. Yeah. Okay, well, first of all, tell us about your business. Well, um, as you can tell from the dog barking in the background, uh, we have a business downtown. We live right upstairs. Um, it's an art gallery and a gift shop. 
So we have a main gallery space that we feature um, usually uh, one local artist a month. Sometimes we have group shows. And then we also have um, a lot of handmade and um, art and other gift items available as well. And classes as well. Although it's been a little while, but we still do them. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. So um, I, I love your store. I love the feel of it. I love the smell of it. I love everything about that store. And, um, and what I really appreciate is that when I have a little more money in my pocket, I can buy a little more. When I don't have as much money, there's still things that are great for me to buy. So I appreciate the, the span of the pricing. Yeah. For great yeah. items. So what's really unique about your business? Well, uh, when we came up with our business model, we wanted to do, we wanted it to be sort of like uh, an art hub. For those things to um, actually stable. So uh, what's unique is we have sort of a, we have a space for culture. So we do like events classes, uh, art shows. Um, we provide like a place for artists to come and um, congregate together and teach each other uh, to, uh, for people to come and see who the local, um, you know, talent is in the area. But we also um, have like with the gift shop, it's, you know, it helps keep everything, you know, keeps the pressure from always being on like selling the artwork. You know, there's like kind of like a shared thing there. So anybody at any level, and any interest of um, art can kind of like participate in one way or another. And I really appreciate the fact that everything in there is so unique, really. When I'm asking what's unique about your business, in the gift shop, everything is unique. Yeah. So um, tell me, why do you love what you do? You know, I think the most awesome part is to feel like part of a community. Um, Wadsworth is such an awesome place and like we, our biggest goal, our biggest dream for a place to kind of settle in was somewhere we can, um, you know, work with local business owners, work with, uh, work to bring something to the community, um, have people come in and engage. And I, I can honestly say practically every single day, there's some sort of experience that happens in the store that um, is, is just like positive, whether it's somebody uh, needs to come in and just like say, hey, I haven't had a conversation in a long time. You know, like I just felt comfortable walking in here to somebody that's like, you know, I've been doing art for 20 years and I've been really kind of haven't known how to show it. And like, even just if they're not selling it in the space, you know, somebody just comes in and shares something, you know, or like uh, sure. gets it. Or, so yeah. that's or like we have, you know, recently we had somebody come in and buy their first piece of real artwork. And just to be able to share that experience with somebody and facilitate, and the artist, it was the first piece she has ever sold. Yeah, so it so was like, like this like, joint like uh, connection and they still haven't met each other, but they both have this story of, this is the first piece of art she sold. This is the first piece of art I bought. And like, there's just this kind of cool connection there. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So tell me what kind of classes are you offering? So we do everything from like straight up art classes, like um, acrylic painting, watercolor, to just sort of fun and trendy stuff. So um, we do like a guitar string jewelry class. Uh, uh, Wadsworth Music is actually really cool and like uh, donates uh, the recycled strings to us for that class. Um, so it's, you know, it's nice to like reuse something that would normally get tossed, but it's also like a ton of fun and creative class that you know a group of people can come together oh sure okay so are you running any specials for the new year here oh gosh <laughs> I, I, at this point we don't really have any specials uh, we will have a new show opening in february kristen hopefully knows that exact date <laughs> but probably uh with ron white who is a local he, he paints draws lots of sculptural stuff, very connected to the art community in Akron and Barberton, and we're pulling him into Wadsworth for a really cool show. Uh, so that's kind of the- Yeah, February 13th is the opening. Uh, not sure exactly how we're gonna do it yet, but keep an eye out on Facebook and- Okay. And so how can people find you in your shop? So um, our 
Open hours are Tuesday through Saturday, 11 through six. Um, that's our posted hours, but sometimes we're, you know, we, we're there a little later, we're there on a Monday or whatever. Um, and then we're on Facebook. Uh, that's the best, that's my best. I'm, I'm the best at updating that. We also have a <laughs> website. <laughs> I try my best to update the website, but it's really a lot. And um, yep, so website, Facebook, Instagram, or just stop in. Main Street. Yeah, downtown, right by brewery, right by Unwind, right by the Alexandries. Boy, a great location, that's for sure. And a, we're, lucky. we're lucky. Beautiful, beautiful shop. Yeah, Thank it just feels good you. as soon as you come in. So Matt and Kristen Lefevre of Manic on Main, thank you so much, and we'll stop in to see you. Thank you. Have a great Thank day. You.